everyone, happy, happy Favourites Day. Favourites Day? January Favourites! Happy, happy Favourites Day! Hi everyone, January, January, January Favourites! Uh, I've had a little bit of a format change, because I got sick of doing just beauty favourites, and I found that at the end of the month I was just trying to scrape together things that I loved to talk about. Um, but some months, you know, it's like you can have loads of brilliant products and things you think are amazing, but they might not necessarily be your favourite thing of the month, you know. So I'm starting to feel a little bit uneasy about always calling everything favourites. So it's not just going to be beauty, it's going to be anything favourite of the month, and it might not be that many things. So I hope that you enjoy it and this little mishmash of afternoon, Mr Magpie. Oh, there's two, I'm fine. I don't have the baby here with me, she's gone for a walk, not on her own, but with Mr AMR and Dexter the dog, and I kind of feel like I've got all the time in the world and there's no pressure, and because of that, I I'm not doing a very good job of really going through my favourites. It's like I've been let loose. Where the bloody hell have I put that perfume? Spoke too soon, baby is back from her walk, do you want to go in your bomber chair, whatever it's called? Sorry to the people who can't stand it when I have to have baby in the video, but you know, um, I have to. So, sometimes. It's just the way the cookie crumbles until we can get somebody to help out, isn't it? Eh? Whoa, let's just have you in the picture just to annoy those people that don't like it when I have you. Oh, say hello. Right, go in your chair and just try and be, just try and be quiet for five minutes do you think? I can't remember how to pronounce this guy's name and I know at least three or four people who are going to really rip it out of me if I get it wrong so I'll just link to it below but this is Lumiere Noir, I've talked about this before, it's the sexiest, deepest, most sultry kind of gorgeous feminine perfume, it's very posh, it's the kind of perfume that you know when you smell it on your clothes a few days later and you think oh my god what was that that I sprayed on my clothes, it's like that I'm pretty sure that I did an in-depth review of it, don't mess with the box, uh, on my website. So I'll dig that out and I'll link to it below along with all the other links and stuff. Stan Smith's Box Fresh. Now I know lots of people are going to be rolling their eyes and going, Oh, Stan Smith. Everybody's jumped on the Stan Smith bandwagon. Can I just say that I've been wearing Stan Smith's for... I used to get them from America a long time ago. I mean, we're talking like over a decade. And I used to always try and search out Stan Smith's whenever I went to New York. And um, for a long time, they were the only trainer that I wore. And then they disappeared from the scene, and then they bought them back out again last year. I had them with green on the back. Oh no, why am I giving you a Kindle to read? You're not going to read Kindle. Uh, and I've worn those to death, and I've just bought myself a new pair. Haven't worn them yet. I thought that I would show them to you while they're still all lovely and clean. Yeah! Book! I had a little bit of a phase of, um, and I know I'm supposed to be doing a book video, I will do the book video, it's just, I've still got a few on my list that I really want to put in there and I haven't read yet. I went through a phase of reading really rubbish books, there were about three in a row and I just couldn't finish them, couldn't get into them. And then I read A Town Called Winter, I think that's what it's called, hold on let me just check, sorry, rude looking at my Kindle. Um, oh my God, The Green Road by Anne Enright is also very, very good. A Place Called Winter. I don't know why I'm showing you the screen. A Place Called Winter by Patrick Gale. And it's about a guy who, um, I won't do any spoilers, but basically he has a bit of a scandal and he has to leave England and he goes to Canada. And then um, it's just a very beautiful book. Have you ever washed your hair in a bath and rinsed it in the bath and just every single, oh no I've got that on the carpet, every single shampoo or conditioner you use just feels crap um, because basically you're not rinsing it properly and you know it just doesn't work properly. Well that's what happened with these for me. OGX Renewing Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner and I used these in the bath and I just thought oh my god what is everyone going on about that's the most hideous shampoo I've ever used. Um, but then a month later I thought I'd give it another try and I used it in the shower and it's brilliant and that's what I've used in my hair at the moment and it's lovely and shiny 
Um, oh, actually, on the ends, I've got my Colab Lux Shine, which is probably what's making it really shiny, but that made it feel very soft and um, not soft in that flyaway way, but the silky kind of soft. Ah! So I like that a lot, and it's really inexpensive. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, most used, this is a post on my website at the moment. Most used, I realised, kind of powder product of last year, which I'm on number two of these. This is the Max Factor Creme Puff Blush in Nude Mode. And um, it was because I was going to compile a post about my most used products of 2015, and then it just fell by the wayside. But I'd done a couple of makeup products already, and that was on the list. And when I looked in my iPhone notes, I thought, oh, I should have done that post, but it felt like the time had passed. But I'm writing up a couple of the products anyway, and that's on my website at the moment. And I've got it on now. I don't know whether you can see that. Should I put a bit more on so you can see? Not you. I'm just use my left hand, which isn't going to go very well. But it's just a really nice, neutrally um, kind of bronzer, but with a bit of a warm touch, if you know what I mean. It's supposed to be a blush, but I use it there, as you can see. Very good indeed. Also written on my website at the moment, Effaclar BB Blur. Um, so refer to that if you want an in-depth review, but it's just a very lightweight, gorgeous it's BB cream. I mean, really, I think the coverage is as much as the foundation, but it's just very light and it's mousse-like and you blend it out. Um, just gorgeous. I think this is amazing. And it would have been in last Sunday's foundation video as well. However, epic fail in that it only covers a very narrow range of skin tones so they need to sort that out because it's a beautiful product and everyone um, needs to be able to use it it's ridiculous only to have a couple of shades that are so narrow like that so I'll keep you informed as and when hopefully they add more shades to that range favorite videos first of all the James Corden and Adele video which I shall link to below. If you haven't seen it, you're probably one of the last people on earth that hasn't because it's had like a billion views or something. It made me laugh a lot. James Corden does this thing called um, Carpool Karaoke where he gets pop stars and, and people and they kind of sing along to their songs and he interviews them. And I think the Adele one has definitely been the best one so far. So I really enjoyed that. And um, I will link to that. Maybe I can link to it on the screen, who knows? I'll give it a go. And my other videos of the month, a friend of mine, Caroline Barnes, who's uh, a brilliant makeup artist, she's been doing little short Instagram videos um, with professional makeup tips. And I just think that they're really good. I can't stop watching them and they're really, really useful. So I shall link to her Instagram below and I'll also try and remember to link from my Instagram to her Instagram so you can have a look. But hopefully she's gonna come and be on a couple of my videos very soon so um that'd be really good but yeah check out her videos they're really great if you love interesting makeup tips that you might not have heard of before uh, very very useful indeed this which is from the dior uh spring collection and is called souffle nude and it's just the most gorgeous lipstick color look at this and it is easy I'm trying to do lipstick with um baby maniac on my lap can you see that? I just think it's the most... If you want to wear a pink lipstick, but don't want to wear a pink lipstick, if that makes any sense, just a pinkish hint of pink. Do you not think that is really pretty and spring-like, but without being um, too in your face? Yeah. I think that's just gorgeous. Uh, yeah, so those are my January favourites. Hopefully you like the new format that's not just beauty stuff. I feel a lot more comfortable just knowing that I can collect together all of the stuff that I've loved from all areas of my life rather than not struggling to find beauty stuff but just um, kind of having to really think about which beauty products. I mean, favourite stuff should just come to you, shouldn't it? I think. So I hope that you enjoyed that. Make sure you give it a like if you fancy doing that. I don't, I don't know why I say that at the end of every video, to be honest. I don't know whether it makes any difference to you. And yeah, I shall see you next time.